I'm here in Edwinstow Churchyard today at the side of Edwinstow Church. It's a lovely old churchyard. Some great trees in here and it's turned up some really interesting invertebrates over the years. Today I'm looking for a caterpillar. That's the caterpillar of the privet hawk moth. That's a species I've never seen a great deal of in Nottinghamshire. But looking for the caterpillar at this time of year, which has just gone mid-July, is worthwhile. Caterpillar can be any size from the egg upwards, but when full grown, it's about four inches long. It's a real beast of a caterpillar. And the moth itself isn't too shabby either. Privet is the place to look. And privet that's not been caught is ideal. Thankfully, this long stretch of mostly privet hedge here at Edwin Stowe is caught maybe only once a year. So that's the perfect setting. All I need to do is see if privet hawk moth caterpillar is even here. Well, I've had to go up and down this hedge two or three times. It always pays off to do that. You can't find everything in the first sweep. And I was just about to go up for a third time when I came across this chap here. And I found one. And this is what looks like a last instar Privet Hawk Moth Caspian. And it looks though like it's fairly recently malted as well. This has got quite a considerable of growing to do. We'll get you in a bit closer because it's an absolutely beautiful thing. And here it is. It's an absolutely beautiful caterpillar. And I say this one's got an awful lot of growing to do, which will probably take about a week to complete. And then it'll be the descending from this privet and then look for somewhere to pupate underground. Now pupation usually takes place quite away from privet by all accounts. These larva tend to wander a great deal more than most species when searching for somewhere to pupate. But it's a beautiful thing, beautiful lime green and then of course diagonally on most of the sections you've got these white and almost black currant coloured stripes. Absolutely beautiful. And the head, as you can see, is paler than the rest of the body and then edged on the sides by that striking black band. And the horn is also beautiful. It's jet black and shiny, but at either side of the horn, it's that sort of cream colour. This really is an impressive caterpillar. And what I will do, I will take this home because this one's got about another week's growing in it. I used to love these. They're beautifully smooth in this last instar. And that's how you can tell the last instar of Privet Hawk Moth caterpillars. They are sort of your typical Hawk Moth caterpillar feel through all instars until the last instar when they become beautifully smooth. If a caterpillar is strokeable, then it's this species. But beautiful. I think Larger caterpillars can attain an almost four inch size. They are fabulous things. And the moth is to die for as well. It's a real striking moth, quite often seen by members of the public. I'm surprised I found one actually, I'm quite chuffed. That's the caterpillar. The rather striking caterpillar of the privet hawk moth. So I'm going to take this home and rear it through because I've not done that for a number of years. Now if you do decide yourself to have a look for Privet Hawk Moth Caterpillars now is a good time to start looking but you just have to beware that even on a large stretch of Privet like this, a female Privet Hawk Moth may only deposit one 
at the most two eggs. They do tend to fly quite a distance, if I remember right, between egg laying. But if the larva is present and it's of a decent size, then signs of its activity are usually easy to spot, and you only need to just casually walk and look along the length of a privet hedge. And the kind of sign you're looking for is feeding signs and defoliation on certain sprigs of privet it can sometimes be two or three of these growths of privet that are more or less stripped of the leaves the larger the caterpillar is the more these will be stripped and then it's a case of just looking down the stem or nearby on the stem and the caterpillar will be sat just underneath ready to take its meal out of its next leaf it's well worth looking for it's a common moth and moths increase greatly over the last 20, 30 years, especially in Nottinghamshire. At one time, in the 1980s, it virtually didn't occur in Nottinghamshire, but then slowly started to spread in from the southeast. That spread across Nottinghamshire was westwards and northwestwards and continues to this day. And now it's found pretty much county wide. I had a larva recently just around the corner from my home at Market Walsop and I have took two or three moths in the garden. But it's took a number of years for the moth to approach the western boundaries of Nottinghamshire. But thankfully it has. It's done really well. Done similarly to the pine hawk moth. But the range spread of the pine hawk moth was from a different angle. That came up from the south. Both are very welcome, and now that they're common in Nottinghamshire, it's a great thing. Wonderful caterpillar to look for, the privet moth, and I'd urge you to go out and look for it. It's an impressive caterpillar.